Hey, my name is Greg and I'm with Lazine and today I'm going to show you how we test our lights. The instrument we use to test all of our lights is an integrating sphere. And before we use the integrating sphere, we make sure that we've had it calibrated with a lab calibrated uh, lamp. An integrating sphere is a dome as such and the inside of the sphere is highly reflective. So all light that enters into the sphere reflects back into this port. And at the end of this port you have a uh, fiber optic cable which then goes to a sensor. From the sensor it outputs lumen values into the computer. So there, there are tons of great reasons to use an integrating sphere. One is that it measures all of your light output as opposed to a lux meter which measures just one point of the beam pattern. So depending on where you are in the beam pattern, you might be getting hot spots or dark spots. And it doesn't really tell you much about the total light output. So another great advantage of uh, the integrating sphere is you can measure lumen output over time. So you can see if your light output fades over time, which is really cool. You can see how bright your light is over the entire course of the runtime. The reason that we use lumens as a unit of measurement is, one, it's kind of become the standard of uh, measurement in the flashlight world. And the reason is it measures the total output power of the light relative to the sensitivity of your eye. Another useful piece of information you can get from the integrating sphere is color temperature. So we measure all of our lights and their color temperature output because we want our lights to look good outside. So now we're going to actually test a light. We've got here a mini drive mounted to the integrating sphere and whenever we test any of our lights we always have cool air blowing over it to simulate um, someone riding their bike at nighttime. So all you have to do is turn the light on. All the light is entering into the sphere and if you look over at the computer, you can see uh, your light output. So here's a super drive. We just turned it on and it started off in medium. And you can see the lumens are around 380. When I switch into high mode, the graph goes up and uh, you can see we're around 500 lumens. Up here you've got color temperature reading around 6400, 6500. And if I switch into low mode, you can see it drop down. And uh, in flashing, you can see it flash on and off. Pretty cool. So the integrating sphere has been a huge advantage in the design process. As a company in general, we want to provide our customers with an honest light. So if we say our light is 300 lumens or 500 lumens, we want to uh, be sure that we're giving our customer a 300 or 500 lumen light. And the integrating sphere has been the best way to test that. So while we're getting in new lights to test, uh, we always make sure, you know, test it on the integrating sphere. See if the lumen output is correct. 